Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming for you today. Um, I'm getting ready for work, so this is nothing that is new to anybody, but I just wanted to let everybody know I received my Disney palette, my Disney Villains um, box, and I am so excited for it. I will definitely show it to you one of these days. Um, it is a collectible box, and so I'm really looking forward to being able to try it out. So here's my thought for the whole thing. I'm gonna try to make this short. A lot of these tutorials that go over the entire six villains are pretty long, and I'm gonna actually try to make it as short as I can. So what I'm gonna do is actually showcase East Villain for you, and I think that that's the best way to do it. Um, so we're just gonna dive right into them. Um, the first one, I do have everything on my face already. I'm already um, moisturized, washed, sorry, washed, moisturized. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial. I use my one heck of a blot. I actually have gone back to this because the other one makes me so oily and I really don't like that at all. Um, with that, I am using my Wet n Wild Photo Finish. This is in Shell Ivory. I use my ColourPop No Filter Setting. Um, I am using, where did it go? Here it is. I am using my e.l.f. 16-hour um, concealer and this color is in fair beige so that one's in fair beige um i do have my hakari on this is my bronzer that i use underneath my chin and around um i did use some of my nyx contour i have not had a highlighter because there's a highlighter that comes with the palette um, my blush is my laura geller um this is in the color baked uh i mean tropic hues this one's tropic hues and this is the one that came in our boxy charm um, they call it a tester, but here's the, this is a sample that's not for sale, but honestly, ouch, this is enough to actually keep me going for the year. I do have my MAC Paint Pot on uh, for my eye primer, and I'm actually ready to go. So what I want to do is just showcase for you guys this um, misunderstood palette. This is absolutely amazing. The only thing that people, I've heard people complain about is actually that there is no mirror here. And yesterday, <laughs> Uh, this is, you know, a typical Tracyism. Yesterday I actually filmed a tutorial for you guys, but I didn't check to make sure that my camera was nice and focused. So I am so sorry. Yesterday went really well. And I, and I went ahead and used, um, the one that I'm going to start with is, um, is um, Dr. Facilier. Um, he is from Princess and the Frog. And this one here is the highlighter that is Meet Me on the Other Side. And this is kind of yellow. You can see that I've dug into it a little bit again. Like I said, I did a tutorial yesterday. Um, these little ones do come with a mirror. I'm sure you can probably see that. I don't want to blind anybody. Um, but that is the mirror that actually comes with this. And what I found last night is, as with ColourPop, their shadows and their highlighters, especially their highlighters, are creamy. So really the best way to actually put this on is, um, the best way to put these colors on is going to go ahead and be with your finger. I did find that last night there actually was a brush that I really liked using. And um, so I went ahead and used my Luxie 660. This is a... a this is actually a precision foundation brush, but because this is so creamy, I'm going to go ahead and try it with this brush um, because I did like the way that it actually put on, especially on my subtle skin. So my subtle color, this is really quite yellow and I really don't want to put on too much because my skin is not... Um, I don't really take yellow and greens too well, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on for you because like I said last night, I went ahead and showcased this one already. This color was absolutely stunning. One mistake that I made last night is when I went ahead and took it in uh, on my C that went above and over here from my brow bone just on the side. Um, I went ahead and took it up a little bit too high and I can actually still see the yellow. So I have decided to change that. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my highlight above the top of my cheekbone. A little bit on this side, um, just a smidge. We're going to go ahead and do the tip of our nose. This color is just absolutely stunning. I will honestly say that I shocked myself last night. Um, when I when I was putting it on and I did after it did my contour and stuff, I really did surprise myself. Uh, this highlighter was not one that I really thought that I would really like. And honestly, I fell in love with it. Do my cupid's bow. Cupid's bow here and just a little bit on the outside of my head. So again, this is the highlighter. It is absolutely creamy. It is gorgeous and it is just stunning. It's a wonderful golden color and this one is really shimmery and it has some greens on the undertone. I'm going to try to put a little bit more up here just a smidge so you guys can see it. Touch the tip of my nose. A little bit there. 
Um, I want to go ahead and wipe it off on my towel that I use all the time. The other thing is that I found this little tiny highlighter mirror. It was perfect for when I was putting on my eyeshadows. Um, I, I do like, I know everyone was complaining a lot about having um, no mirror in the misunderstood because there's some great watermarks that are right here for all of these shadows. And so in here is what they were looking for a mirror, but I think that's fantastic. But what I really liked last night was I found that I put that down and what I did was I picked up the highlighter mirror and the highlighter mirror worked really well. So um, I'm just going to flip it around over here because I found that I actually stuck my fingers in it. The other thing that I noticed was this, um, this is the Dr. Facilier, um, the ColourPop jelly shells, jelly. <laughs> oh my goodness. They are the jelly, um, much shadows is what they're called jelly much and i ended up having to clean it off um they they are definitely loose but they're fantastic to work with once they dry down it was really gorgeous very very gorgeous and i was very pleased to have it so um what i'm going to do now is i am getting out a makeup um a wipe uh, just because it's so much easier sometimes to clean off some of this extra stuff and i always have my towel that i get ready with i always have an extra whether it be a hand towel or a um, a washcloth or anything that you can just definitely keep close because what I really want to do is just um, keep that going here let me there that probably now you guys can see my entire head okay so like I said my pink pots on and this jelly much these were just amazing I found them to be messy though and I'm not a messy makeup person I didn't like it that much and um, I did like being able to actually put my fingers in here. Um, I didn't actually use my fingers, but my fingers got all messy anyway, and like this. So that's one of the reasons why I keep the makeup um, remover uh, right with me. It's just smart to have anyway, because this way you don't end up cluttering or messing and hitting something else on your face where you touch something and you get it out of way. But see, look at that highlighter. That highlighter is just absolutely stunning, and I really found that I just fell in love with it. So let's get to blending. There's quite a few actual shades in here. This one is an, a really great one. It's called Tragic. This one is Previous. Sorry, Devious. Here we have just our No Spots. This other one that is a matte is this 101 and then the Fates here. So there are five, mm, yeah, one, two, three, four, five mattes and then the rest are shimmers out of all 15. So we have 10 shimmers and five mattes. And these two blending ones, this Devious and Tragic, they are per tragic. They are perfect transition shades. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into Tragic. I'm just assuming that everybody's actually probably seen these already. Um, if you haven't seen the collection, I will do a whole just tutorial on hopefully just some introductions, but I'm trying to do something that's different from what everybody else is doing, and I'm just trying to showcase one at a time. I want to break this down to hopefully about a 15-minute tutorial. So just putting down Devious right now. I mean Tragic, I'm sorry. Tragic is what I'm putting down, just laying down a nice base. I'm going to go ahead and dip into Devious as well. That's the one that's next to it, a little bit more orangey color going to lay down just a nice transition. That's the best part about these transition shades. And what a transition is actually for is just to be able to get put a neutral background um, in on your eye uh, lid and wherever you put, choose to put it, just put this neutral, neutral eye background so that you can blend the rest of your eyes out. Um, absolutely stunning. I really love this tragic color. This Devious is absolutely wonderful as well. The white, which is um, no spots, uh, that one I love as well. Uh, these are three of the most perfect and actually they're very close to the ones that I have in my Ulta palette period. So I'm really, really liking that. Um, the one that I worked with last night was going to be this 101. I went ahead and put this in the outside of my eye. I, I wasn't really sure how I wanted to work it. I'm going to work with mongrels and then I'm going to use this jelly stuff. Um, so I think that's what we'll go on into. So what I'm doing is with a small packet brush, I'm going to just go ahead and take this on, my small packet brush. I'm going to put this in the outside V, the outside corner here, and I'm just going to pack this color in on the outer third. Because this jelly one is actually not messy. I, I don't think that that's the right word for it. Messy is not the right word, but it's definitely a wet. Um, it is a wet application. And if you do not let it dry down, then it actually will transfer to that upper lid. So you have to be real careful about that. 
gonna go ahead and just put this one on the outside too, just blending it in on the outside of my outer, my lower lid. Just putting it in this V, mixing the two. Okay, so that one is that. And again, like what I've said is I've actually, usually I put this down, or what I did last night was I put it down and it kind of was in the way. I can see what they're saying. It's kind of nice to have it in your hand. I definitely can see what they're saying about having it in your hand and being able to work with that. I also washed all my brushes last night, guys. I washed all my brushes. So I need to find my little packet brush. Okay, this one works. Okay, so with the little tiny mirror again, and I flip it upside down so that I'm not um, sticking you know, my fingers in it here. I'm gonna go ahead and pack on some some of this green here. And it is very much so a wet shadow. So, and it looks like it dries down pretty quick. So I can see where we probably won't get too much out of this, um, too much usage out of this, but there's ample product in here that allows you to be able to use it appropriately. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of sticky. See how it lifts my lid a little bit? but you can definitely pack it on. And the reason why I'm doing this in the center um, and using this in the center of my lid like this and going in instead of usually doing it like last is because I definitely want this to dry. Um, like I said, last night I went ahead and accidentally um, looked up a couple times when I did this and I found that that was probably not the smartest thing to do. So, okay, I went ahead and just finished that um, a little bit off camera because it does take some time to dry. So I just went ahead and finished that and don't wanna waste any time here. So I'm putting the lid back on that. And actually the other one that I wanna really wanna use is I wanna go into this gorgeous, gorgeous pearlescent color here, this mongrel. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. And what I'm doing is I'm using this other mongrels and this is the first time that I'm dipping into this one. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the inside here. The inside of my lid. See, that color is just absolutely stunning. And this is just going to go, this is going to make an absolutely gorgeous look for today. I can see glitter actually falling. Uh, it's not actually ending up on my lid, sorry, on my cheek but I can honestly tell you that I see a smidge of glitter that is falling down a little bit. Now, typical um, ColourPop fashion, there's not a lot of fallout, but with the ColourPop, um, because they are creamy, you do get a couple chunks. Now, if you actually press those right back into the pan, they actually integrate themselves back into the color. So, you know, just go ahead and expect it. Expect it. It's something that happens a lot with ColourPop. Um, it, it's just part of the formula that they have. You'll never really have an issue with it, but it is um, still a gorgeous, gorgeous color and you won't have to worry about it. So here's my eye color just for today. I think that it's absolutely stunning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just blend these out just a little bit better. That's all I'm doing here with the one single brush. And just to make sure that they blend together because I really don't want to look like I have so many hard lines. When you have this dark of a color though, this is one thing that you'll find. You will definitely find that you will have the hard lines. So I have those three lines here. I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, little brush that I packed in some black in here in the corner. I'm just going to refresh that. refreshing that black that I packed right in the corner. And all I'm doing is just really touching, I'm t just touching the um, shadow, just putting my, um, my uh, brush right into just touching the shadow. I don't think I have the right brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this over these ones here, blend the black into the crease, and just outer V it, take out any extra lines. This is just a perfect look for today. Okay, so there's look like they're pretty much done. I really like the way that the eyeshadow actually has come out. The other thing that we have in here, um, there's a couple of extra colors that I'm gonna go ahead and just use this little, the one that I put the, the packet brush that I put the black on underneath, which I'm gonna extend it out just a little.
because this black on its own is just a smoky and if you'll notice I haven't actually packed on any extra color there's no extra color I have not dipped back in I am just mixing these in just smoking it out along my bottom lash line and then what I'm gonna do is take I'm gonna go ahead and do my color change here with that brush I want to go ahead and take part of that mom girls that I used and I'm actually gonna cover a, the front half of this up with the mom girls so that I do have a little bit of shimmer on there as well packing it just in little shimmery I'm not real big on uber shimmers because a lot of the times um, especially with women of age or as we age a lot of the shimmers actually add some um, they can add a little bit of age to your face so with Dr. Facilier's highlighter I'm going to go ahead and go back in with that same packet brush so that I don't have a lot of like fallout and stuff I have to kind of dig it in because these are pretty soft they're pretty soft their highlighters are pretty soft so you kind of really got to dig that in I'm going to go above my brow bone here inside the eye and putting it in that V just nice to highlight that eye, brighten that area up. Doing it in this eye, and I'm trying to do it all in just, you know, one sweep across my face so that I don't have to worry too much about where I'm putting product and where I'm not putting product. Very, very gorgeous. It looks fantastic. This one did really well. Mm-hmm. Love it. actually see it these you really have to be kind of picky and choosy about using these um, the best part is that you can kind of just you have to build the highlighter up when you use it this way okay so there is my eyes and the next thing that, that comes with them are actually um, there is the shock shadow that I showed you already there is a lipstick and a gloss now this gloss when I tried it out last night was definitely not for me this is a red with a gold and a green shift and it, it just looked really really funny on me so um, maybe someday I'll try that out but one thing that I really want to do is I want to go ahead and put on this shade this is absolutely gorgeous and within the lipstick itself it actually says villains along the side this is the shade um, it's just a cream lipstick and it's called Dr. Facilier and so let's go ahead and put this on mmm this is an absolutely gorgeous shade so other than either wearing lashes or putting on some eyeliner which I really don't even need I think it looks fantastic um, I'm just gonna go ahead and slap on some mascara which what I'll probably be using is the volumizing mascara from ColourPop itself this is one of the ones that I just got in a huge haul and I'm very very excited to use so anyway today this is Dr. Facilier where did it go it's in my lap Dr. Facilier this is the Facilier these are from the Disney villains collection and I'm just so excited to get it started so here's the first day of six for y'all um, anyway I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna go ahead and finish up here just throw on some mascara maybe a little bit of liner really don't think I need any and I'm gonna head off to work but I'll definitely get this posted for you anytime anyway if you have any questions comments subscribe to my channel go ahead and put them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video stay healthy